Greetings everyone and welcome to a new video. We got some news dropped today a couple hours ago. The Legendary Mirror Bundle. They're doing another one of those one-shot Legendary Bundles. We had the big Federation Legendary Bundle, of course, and then they did the Romulan one with the Warbird, which is pretty good. And that kind of set the price uh, at $60 for a single shot. And of course, they you know, pad it with a bunch of extra stuff. The stuff here is not too bad if you like Mirror Universe stuff, but um, it is padding, basically. It's better padding, I think, uh, in some ways than the uh, Romulan one, because the Romulan one, you got just junk, basically. But here you actually get costumes and stuff, which don't matter a lot to me, but if you like that stuff, then it's going to have more intrinsic value, I think. Intrinsic, I should say, if I could talk uh, correctly. So uh, here it just gives you a little bit of, you know, don't we all love the Mirror Universe, you know? So um, for players interested in exploring more of their villainous side, we're releasing a brand new bundle for Star Trek Online. Coming on October 22nd for 6,000 Zen, this bundle brings together some of the must-have items for any would-be Mirror Captain in the Star Trek Online. Account-wide costume unlocks, an intimidating pet, ground and space weaponry, and a Tier 6 starship. And it is the, I guess I should have said that to begin with, it is the uh, legendary dreadnought. Okay, does it come with um, a goatee though? Because I think if you want to be Mirror Universe, you have to have a goatee. I think that's like the law. So you get the legendary dreadnought cruiser. We're going to go to its page in a second and look at the info they have about that. Of course, there's no numbers. They lo they love to do that. They love to post these blog posts without the actual numbers. You get the agony phaser torpedo launcher, Mirror Universe uh, phaser dual pistols, Mirror Odyssey uniform, Mirror. Antares uniform, Mir Sierra uniform, Mir shorts, Mir Romulan uniform, Mir Bordeskew uniform, Mir leader uniform, Mir photon, uh, oh sorry, Porthos non-combat Rottweiler pet, Mir universe registry unlock, and the Mir Hakiv duty officer. But uh, I don't know how much of this stuff you can get from the Phoenix box. I think you can get some of it. I know you can get Mir Hakiv because I use him because I already think he's pretty cool. Uh, he basically emits a uh, low-level hazard emitters to your allies uh, when you use hazard emitters yourself. So he's pretty cool. And then, of course, you get the registry unlock. Some people are going to be tempted by that. I don't really care about any of that stuff. The uniforms are cool, but I don't have to have them. But the main thing in the bundle is the ship, so let's look at the ship. Okay, the legendary Dreadnought Cruiser. And, uh, by the way, just for me personally, I think this thing looks stupid. I've always thought it looked stupid. I thought it looked stupid when it was on TNG. That third nacelle... I mean, it's probably for budget reasons. They're on a TV show. They're on a tight budget. They already have the model for the Galaxy D. Just sticking this cell on there. It is so stupid looking. Uh, I'm pretty sure with the regular version of this in the C-Store, which I do not have, uh, you can just use the Galaxy D skin so you don't have to use the three nacelles. If you did, I would no way I would ever fly this thing. Way too ugly. Uh, it's a ship born of needs, not wants. A solemn realization made. For a starship that is uh, a presence of sad fear, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway, let's take a look at this thing. Tier 6, uh, Federation and Federation aligned. Hello, year of the Klingon. Hull modifier 1.5, that's very high. Shield modifier 1.1, pretty good. 5-3 weapon layout, 4 device slots. You get a Lieutenant Commander Tactical, a Commander Engineering Intel, which means it's a full Intel spec. Lieutenant Science. Ensign Universal, Lieutenant Commander, Universal Command. Consoles, 4 Tactical, 5 Engineering, 2 Science. Turn rate, 5.5. That is horrendous. Impulse Modifier, 0. 0.15. Inertia, 25. Also terrible. 10, we 10 Weapon Power, 5 Shields, 5 Engines. You get the Phaser Spinal Lance, which is pretty cool. You get the Hangar Bay. It is a Dreadnought Cruiser, after all. It comes with crappy Type 8 shuttles. You get the Cloaking Device Console. You get uh, supplemental systems, antimatter spread, saucer separation. They're including some stuff that isn't necessarily from just uh, the Dreadnought versions. They're also including Andromeda stuff. And uh, you can see that with the trait unlocks. You get the uh, full intel, like I said. It can use dual cannons because it is a Dreadnought cruiser. You get rapid repairs, enhanced hull plating, devastating weaponry, armored hull. That's standard Dreadnought cruiser package. Then for the uh, traits... You get Explosive Polarity Shift, that's from the Andromeda. I think uh, Subspace Redundancies is from the regular Sea Store version of this ship. And then you get a new one, the new Legendary Trait, Best Hope of the Empire. That's account-wide, 
Upon reaching level 6 in the Starship's Mastery, you'll unlock Best Hope of the Empire Starship trait for all characters on your account. Why is there always noise out the window? I hope you guys can't hear that. Someone's mowing the lawn or something. Uh, activating beam overload. Always. There's always noise in the background. <laughs> overload 1, 2, or 3, or any Lance ability. I wonder if that applies to like the, um, the thing from the Juggernaut. I don't know. That'd be interesting to find out. You will cause you to gain bonus damage. That should be cat 2. And temporary hit points for several seconds. So it's a beam overload trait. Uh, we already have several good beam overload traits. We have the extender. We have the uh, the NX one that gives you 100% cat 1. which uh, And this is true, by the way. is a crap load of damage. Um, even if it's cat 1, 100% is a lot. So this is competing with a lot of other beam overload traits. And I don't know how good it will be or how much the, the bonus damage will be or any of that stuff. But it would be account unlocked. Uh, if you had the regular legendary bundle, then you would have that other trait, the NX1 account unlocked, the um, the one from the Primate, ATF, whatever, Zindi ship, um, is, is a lockbox ship, or is it a Lobby ship, I can't remember, but um, the Super Weapon Ingenuity, that's uh, not an account unlock, so you're probably not going to have that as an account unlock, so this could be good as an account unlock, uh, we'll have to see what the numbers on it are, but you know, it's not bad having more beam overload stuff. So, so the visuals, you get the new mirror skin on there, and then of course all the old skin as well. Um, yeah, so that's that. What do I think of this ship? Well, I think that uh, I'd rather fly the Tier 6 Scimitars, which are very old, and yet they've held up very well. And uh, they're very similar in a lot of ways, especially the tactical one, the Kopesh, or Kofesh, or however you pronounce it. It's also a 5.3. It has uh, similar other stats. This has better hull and everything like that. But uh, in terms of the, the core appealing elements, it also has 5.3. It also has four tactical console slots. It also has the hangar bay. And it also has the command seating for uh, Concentrate Firepower 3. So if you're looking to get a torpedo boat, that's going to be just as good as this ship. This ship will also make an excellent torpedo boat. But this is $60.00. And you can only use it for fed. The Kopesh is $30. And you can use it for uh, cross-faction. Because the Romulan stuff is all cross-faction now. Also it has a commander tactical. Whereas this one only has a lieutenant commander tactical. So you won't be able to use you know, the, higher, the highest ranks of beta or omega. For your torpedo build. Uh, especially if you're trying to use omega for that trait from the legendary Romulan ship. So I think that uh, this ship would be slightly better with the intel seating if you're going for energy weapons. But if you're going for energy weapons, neither of those ships is really that good. So if you're looking for an alternative to this, I say look at the tier 6 scimitars. Half the price, just as good, very similar. Cross-faction can do just as well with the uh, torpedo builds as this ship. You would have to really love these dreadnoughts and the dreadnought design. Uh, in order to get this, I think. So that's that. I'm not mad about it or anything. It's just sort of there. I'm not going to get it. I'm pretty tapped out. I'm not looking to spend any more money this year on the game unless something really amazing comes out. So I'm done um, for a while. And um, yeah, it's okay. It's fine. If you want to get it, sure, go ahead and get it. Doesn't interest me in the slightest. Uh, perfectly good. If you want to get it, get it. If you don't, you know, if you want to get it but you don't want to buy this, look for the, the scimitars. That's all I got to say about that. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.